Well, the, the euro is not a good currency for uh, all those countries which are very different. Uh, it causes lots of problems in uh, southern Europe in particular, very, very high unemployment, very high government uh, deficits and uh, debt, very slow growth or no growth at all. And the richer countries also have their troubles because they are uh, obliged to pay for all of that. Uh, so it's taxpayers' money which is spent on bailing out banks. It's not helping the population in the south, it's helping the banks which gave the credit to those countries. So this is really bad, it is unpopular. And thus I think the best thing is to do away with the whole currency and go back to national currencies. No, it's just one single currency. It is much worse than a fixed exchange rate system because a fixed exchange rate system you can always adjust the exchange rates. The exchange rate is fixed for some time and then if you find the exchange rate is not good then you adjust it, change the exchange rate. But in the euro you can't do that and that is the big problem of the euro because the productivities and the wages they develop differently in all those countries and actually we would need adjustment of the exchange rates but we don't get them. And so it's like, you know, like, like a flow of water which is being blocked by a big wall and so more and more water comes and one day, you know, the wall breaks and then we have a big flood. Oh, for our export sector it's great, right, because uh, Germany is very, very competitive now it can sell its good, goods uh, very well on other markets. So actually it's taking the exports of other countries away because its own currency, its own economy is so strong. Uh, so our export uh, industry benefits from that. The problem for Germany is the burden for the taxpayers which have to pay for bankrupt banks or bankrupt governments. Not with the system of exports, but Germany broke rules of the Stability and Growth Pact in early 2000s, in the early 2000s, 2005 or 2003 I think it was, when we had way too high deficits. Um, actually today we have way too high government debt. Our debt is at 76% of GDP, whereas the maximum is actually 60%. So we break this rule too. But this is just being ignored by the European Union, like they always ignore when somebody breaks their rules. Well, I think the southern countries would be well advised to leave the euro. And some countries actually uh, have movements which uh, strive for, for that. In Italy, for instance, right, the Five Star Movement is collecting signatures for a referendum, which I think is a tremendous idea. And that's exactly what should, should happen, that the population should decide on whether they want to stay in the Euro, whether they want to endure high unemployment, high youth unemployment, stagnation, high government deficits, high tax loads, cuts in wages, uh, cuts in pensions, and all these kind of things which go along with the economic crisis that is due to the Euro. So they should vote on that. I think they should vote, let's go out, let's abandon the euro.